When I was 16 years old, I got on a plane for Tokyo to start my new career as a fashion model. It was my first time traveling to a foreign country, the first time traveling on my own, in fact, and I quickly discovered that the world was a lot scarier without mom and dad to figure out the logistics. My new modeling agency didn't make the experience any easier. The first thing Chaco, my booking agent, said to me when I arrived was that my hips were too big. Be very careful about your weight, she said. It's very competitive here. Nice to meet you, too. I've never much liked sports. I think my competitive drive was snuffed out at an early age, when my best friend won two first and second prize ribbons at the town's fall fair. The only thing pinned to my dress was a single participation ribbon. But my agent had been right. Working as a model was all about competition. Every time I spotted another girl at a casting, I couldn't help but scan her up and down to see how she compared to me. I could feel her doing the same. When I didn't get picked for the catalog or magazine, I started to wonder, am I pretty enough? Am I tall enough? Am I too fat? When I first stopped eating, it was like a game. How little can I eat today? Knowing that my parents back home in Canada would never have let me treat my body that way only made the challenge more thrilling. I was thousands of miles away from them, after all. There was nothing they could do to stop me. By the time I went home, I weighed less than I ever had, and felt great. I had a whole new wardrobe, new makeup, and was the only international fashion model at my school. But my parents weren't impressed. My mom took me to the hospital to see a specialist, and my dad tried to force-feed me peanut butter. Neither approach worked, and by the time I was off to Taipei the following summer, I started starving myself all over again. Feed an obsession long enough, and it takes on a life of its own. After two years of counting every calorie and gram of fat I consumed, of refusing to eat food unless I had prepared it, and spending almost every moment I wasn't eating, planning what and when I would eat next, I wasn't even sure why I was doing it anymore. To piss off my parents? To please my agents? To feel superior to other girls? Or maybe just because I didn't know how to live any other way? I was sitting in my Osaka apartment when the phone rang. It was my agent. Jackie, what are you eating tonight? Not too much. Clients think you gained weight. Agents had told me to lose weight before, but they'd never ordered me to stop eating outright. I held the receiver up to my ear for a few seconds without saying a word. I was stunned. Hello, Jackie? Are you still there? Yeah, I'm here, I said. But for the first time since I'd started modeling, I asked myself, is this where I want to be?